Ah, the holidays. And for me personally, it's always been about Christmas. And you know the true meaning of Christmas, don't you? Sharing joy, spending time with your family. <laughs> nah, it's about toys, boys. <laughs> Welcome everybody, happy holidays, merry Christmas to those who celebrate it. And yes, today is all about Digimon toys, but you know, I'm something of a boomer. I'm 27 years old, I know, that's a million years old to Gen Z. But you know when toys were really good? when I was a kid. That's right, going all the way back to when we had the D3 Digivice, the Western version, of course, not that far superior Japanese version, with the tiny black and white LCD screen that would beep at you manically when you were on the bus and make people think you were about to blow up. Good times. Ugh, I'm kind of depressed now. I mean, absolutely nothing in 2020 could live up to the sheer gaming prowess that was a Digivice from the early 2000s. But of course, that's almost 20 years ago now, and I'm grown up, and the reality of the world has set in, and Jesus, what's the point? I wish I could go back, you know, back then to when all the things were good and the toys were great and the commercials. We call them adverts in the UK, but I'm going to call them commercials going forward because I mainly appeal to an American audience. Shh. I know what'll cheer me up. Old ass commercials. I don't actually remember watching that many Digimon commercials and most of these are probably America only, but let's just pretend for the sake of the bloody video, eh? Snowballmon! Digimon 2! Snowman. I will entertain that snow fuck no longer. Click the card to see what that's all about. Moving on. All right, forget Snowballmon, we'll do a restart. We'll forget about that one, all right? I've water under the bridge. What have you got for me? Hit me, hit me. He had reference to the Dark Knight for no reason. What's that? Huh, was there really any need to do like a different lyric version of the theme song specifically for the commercial? It didn't add anything, it didn't change anything. They just have more power. Th than what? Than themselves? Um, it's not Miramon, it's Merrimon. I sure hope someone got fired for that blunder. <laughs> I forgot, genuinely. <laughs> forgot that they were digivolving figures and thought they broke the grave. Oh no! What do we do? <laughs> they would zoom in as the Digimon theme kicked up on just a gargoyle statue. They're like, it's fucking Gargoylemon, run! Wait, wait a minute, that's not Gargoylemon! Star, sure, Memes aside, these Digiarma toys from Digimon Zero Two are some of my absolute favorite toys of all time, and if you have some, give them to me. I deserve them more than you. Look, Digix, now I've got more power. Haha, <laughs> yeah, now I've got more power. I'm almost 30, man. He's Digidust! Fuck your Lord Ornament, bitch! Oh god, the wish.com version of the theme is back. Choose monster, then digital! Power up! Now drop! I'm ultimate! I'm champion! I'm mega! The way! The all-new Digi Battle Card Game from Bandai. Digimon. I always hated that card game, man. Like I love collecting Digivices, plushies. Ah! You run away again, buddy, and you're totally grounded. Hey, the renegade Digimon. They run away, and you have to get them back. The Digimon World Video Game. Rated T. New from Bandai. What the? What? What? <laughs> He's evading arrest! What did that have to do with Agumon running away from home and being brought home by the cops? Like, there's a tenuous link there about, like, the Digimon being your kid and you looking after it, but man, 90s and early 2000s commercials just said, fuck it, we ain't making sense no more. Deal with it. Oh my god. Truly friends, we have been blessed today as we are gifted with the elusive second Digi Rap. It's Digi Action! You can yeah. win! God, I used to love my D-Terminal when I was a kid, man. Definitely one of my favorite Digimon toys. You know, if Santa was here right now, I'd definitely ask him for one for Christmas. 
<clears throat> I said if Santa was here, I'd definitely ask him for- It's not happening. What? Why? Covid, innit? I'm not going near fucking anyone this year, you can all get to fuck. But you're Santa, we could go on a magical journey throughout time for Digimon toys, it'd be great for content. I'm a thousand fucking years old, I should be shielding. Anyway, because of regulations, you can't ask anyone to help you film a Christmas special. That is true. Plus you don't have the budget. That's also true. Also, there's literally a D-terminal right behind you. I w oh fuck! It's just an illusion. Behind every villain, there's a soul. What have I done? Behind every hero, there's a choice. You have the power to change! Behind every battle, there's a destiny. It's you and me! This summer... It's just the beginning. Our hero's epic journey is far from over. Digimon. Coming up in a few minutes on Fox Kids. Okay, bits aside for a minute, this commercial is absolutely insane and I have seen it before. People like to dunk on Zero Two saying it's not as good as Adventure, it's a weak point, whatever. First of all, you're wrong, shut up. That's a joke, I know opinion is subjective. Mine is just subjectively better than people that dislike Zero Two. <laughs> But this was raw. Watching Digimon week to week back in the day, it wasn't just about watching the episodes. It was the hype around it. It was the commercial, sure, the adverts, but it was also about the promos. And promos like this drove up the excitement for each episode. They were as much a part of watching Digimon as the actual episodes, wondering what these promos could mean. This to me is the perfect example of just how baller Digimon was back in the day. The shows have always been consistently good, but my God, the marketing was something else. Everything you know about Digimon is about to change. This fall, reset reality. Digimon Season 3. See it. And speaking of goat teasers, that was some of our very first experience with Tamers. It certainly was mine. We had that advert in the UK and it blew my mind. Reset reality? A whole new reality for Digimon? What the hell could that mean? And Tamers didn't disappoint. Anyway, I've been far too serious in actually talking about how good Digimon is. Let's get back to some toys, baby. Two, four, six, eight, go to we annihilate Digimon! If these are the cheerleaders, imagine how tough the team is! Whoa, 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 so that's Kuagamon, I think Gotsumon, pretty sure Lobomon and Korakakumon as cheerleaders, but they're enemies. What's wrong with Gotsumon? Like, th this is Gotsumon, and that's Gotsumon in that commercial. What did they do to my boy? Punch in digi digits from the game cards you can collect for even more digi monsters! Oh, hell yeah, dude, punch in those digi digits. <laughs> What a weird idea for a commercial. We're gonna sell the Detector from Frontier. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some Frontier Digimon slash Digimon throughout the franchise. And we're gonna make them evil cheerleaders who are cheering on a fight and saying, if we're the cheerleaders, imagine what the monsters... Are what? Movies of the year is coming home on video and DVD. It's Digimon the Movie. And we're so excited, we're throwing the Digimon the Movie house party sweepstakes. Win and you'll get a Digimon the Movie video screening party. A Digimon the Movie house party? Are you serious? I would have loved that as a kid. There was a Digimon the Movie house party competition in America and I didn't get to enter because I was in the fucking UK. <laughs> Oh, sorry, don't mind me. Tell me the details. Go on. Hosted by a surprise Digi Destin character for you and 20 of your best friends. Hosted by a surprise Digi Destin character, so one of the Digi Destin was gonna be at my house party. What's up, Joshua Seth? Oh, cool. Plus, you'll get your very own home theater system, including a big screen TV, VCR, DVD player, and surround sound system. 1,000 runner up winners will receive Digimon the movie on video. I like that a thousand people will win the VHS version, not the DVD version. <laughs> God damn it, watching these commercials was supposed to cheer me up. To distract me from the fact that I don't get to have a Digimon the Movie watch party or any friends. I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna have to watch Digimon promotional material that I've never watched before as a lowly British person living in Britland. 
I'm gonna watch for the first time on camera the Digi Bowl. So yeah, a lot of these commercials probably did end up in Britain, but just chopped up, maybe re-edited, maybe with different narrators, I don't know. But I can tell you for certain the Digi Bowl did not air over here. American football is barely watched over here. We might watch the Super Bowl. It was not super popular. I never saw the Digi Bowl, and I have still not watched it to this day. So this is my reaction to the first time seeing Digi Bowl. to the Digibowl on Fox Kids with your host, Terry Bradshaw. Okay, let me just really quick Google who Terry Bradshaw is. An actual professional American footballer. <laughs> he was a Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback, and now he's doing the Digibowl. Look at me. I get to host the first Digibowl. The first. Super Bowls, they come and go. But the Digibowl, now that's exciting stuff. Yeah, fuck the Super Bowl. We only watch the Digibowl in this house, Terry. But can't do it alone, so luckily I have two authentic Digi Destins, Izzy and Kari, helping me. First, let's check in with my sideline correspondent, Kari. Maybe she can tell us what in the heck a Digibowl is. I thought he was going to say, what in the heck a Digimon is. Thanks, Terry. The Digibowl is a game of digital football where the first season's Digimon battled the second season's Digimon. Oh, it's Adventure vs. Zero Two. Interesting, interesting. And they're called what now, the teams? The first season's team are called the Crimson Quake, and the second season are called the Yellow Mash. The Crimson Quake vs. the Yellow Mash. Cr Crimson Quake, I can see, Ty is the leader of the team, sure. Yellow Mash for date. Oh, you know, Davis from Idaho. He just loves mashed potatoes. Oh, hi, Jerry. Each team will score one point for a completed attack call hit. Blue Blaster! Bah! Oh, so it's a clip show. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. A team can also score six points for saving the world, but could lose four wimp out points for things like crime. <laughs> the team with the most points at the end wins. Okay, I love that they didn't finish the list there. Just like things like crying. <laughs> yeah, fuck you for crying, you wimps. There's no crying in football. That's the phrase, right? Tom Hanks comes up and he's like, there's no crying in football. I've seen angels in the outfield. Nice job, Kari. The Crimson Quakers certainly looking strong. Now, during each break, I'll name my MVD, you know, most valuable Digimon. Everyone knows the MVD, Terry. You didn't need to fucking mansplain it to us, man. I know what the MVD is, all right? And the first one goes to Agumon. Agumon. <laughs> Agumon! Love that pepper breath, baby! All right! Terry just realized what he was doing with his life then, didn't he? He was like, pepper breath. Oh, fuck. I used to be a respected sportsman. Well, Terry, according to my calculations, Vemon. Vemon, armor, dick of off, two! Flame Dramon. That's my boy! Was the only member of the yellow match to score an attack call hit. Garumon and Paramon idly stood by. Well, I can get him on and put him on part of both teams. Kind of weird score in here. That would be like if fucking Tom Brady was playing for both sides. Like, the fuck? That Mega My Otis Mon is meaner than John Randall. A little bigger, too. Just gonna Google who John Randall is really quick. Wait, hold on. Mega My Otis Mon? I'm assuming they mean Venom My Otis Mon? Because My Otis Mon isn't a Mega. Unless they mean the Mega form of My... I'm starting to think this Digibolt was thrown together at the last minute. 37 to 4. A huge lead. Thanks, Kari. All right. My MVD goes to Gaboomon. Doesn't get less funny. Gaboomon. Now, let's go down to the field where Matt and his band, the Young Wolves, are performing at the halftime show. And keep watching for a message from our sponsor, Los Luchadores. The Los Luchadores? Where's that come from? You can't of course, Matt's doing the halftime show. That's actually pretty good lore. I like that. My second quarter MVD goes to Patamon and Gatamon. You can't have two MVDs, Terry. That's against the fucking spirit of the game, man. Sort yourself out, all right? The Crimson Quake basically fell apart out there. Their only hits were against each other. <laughs> Keeping the score at 37 to 13. I haven't seen a team fall apart that quickly since, well, since this year's Washington Redskins. How true, Kari. Since the Crimson Quake hit each other rather than their opponent, I'm not giving out an MVD. And furthermore, I think they should have been penalized for excessive celebration. Terry is changing the Digibowl game. First of all, he has two MVDs and then he has none. He's a maverick and, and I didn't think he was good. I thought he was making mistakes, but maybe, maybe Terry Bradshaw really understands the nature of Digibowl, of Agumon and Gabumon, what it means to be the most valuable Digimon. Really makes you think. Double star. Double star. 
His double star attack call was prodigious. Kind of looked like he missed and didn't do any damage, but sure, whatever. Who am I to judge? I'm not Terry Bradshaw. There's no crying in football. He stole my fucking joke. <laughs> okay. Okay, so look behind the curtain of Oz. This entire reaction has been unscripted. And I'm, <laughs> I hadn't seen this before. Terry stole my joke. What the fuck, Terry? Time after time. In football, you kick things. You sound off to reporters. You wear ugly suits, but you don't cry. All right, Terry. Sounds like you've got some problems with masculinity, man. It's okay. You can cry. Men can cry. Footballers can cry. The Crimson Quake had a real breakdown, Terry. They scored nine points, but then lost four for wimping out, putting the score at 42 to 22. Yeah, those fucking wimps crying. What are they, children? The fans will vote for the team they think should win at FoxKids.com. Then Can't wait to see the results, man. And next Saturday morning, the winner will be announced during the premiere of Los Luchadores. What the fuck is Los Luchadores? I thought it was like a guacamole brand or something. A apparently it's a show. It's time for a Digibowl update. It's a tie. I can't believe it. A tie. That's crazy. They tied. With a thrilling final quarter of the yellow match, scored 20 points, leaving this puppy up to you. Who could have seen that coming when they advertised it? in the last round. That's crazy. I guess I need to find out who won the Digi Bowl 2001. Mega Myotis Mark, Monochroma, and an egg with a bad attitude. They were all courageous. They all fought hard. And they battled to a tie. But thanks to FoxKids.com and you, the tie was broken. And the winners of the Digi Bowl are the Crimson Quake. Of course, Adventure won. Of course it did. Digimon fans haven't changed one dot since 2001. Apparently there was a 2002 Digi Bowl, but my sanity cannot take that for today. I'm feeling in a good mood. Terry Bradshaw has cheered me up. I don't want to risk him ruining me once again. What a truly phenomenal experience the Digi Bowl is. And you know what I say in this world of social digital distancing where we can't do as much real football bring back the digi bowl i want to see digimon adventure 2020 versus when was the last season that you could even watch in the us and the uk fusion season one that's right digi bowl 2021 i'm bringing it back 20 years later we're doing a digi bowl fusion versus adventure 2020 coming up only on carny x unless i don't want to do it and then it won't happen but for real guys thank you so much for watching thank you for this phenomenal year we have had an amazing few months with digimon content so it means a a lot that you watch. I hope you're all having a wonderful holiday, whether it's Christmas or any other celebrations. I hope you're having a lovely day. I hope you're staying safe. It's a tough and uncertain time, but I think more than ever, we could use laughs, smiles, and some nostalgia. So let me know down below, what's your favorite Digimon toy, your favorite Digimon toy commercials, a Christmas or holidays Digimon memory? Let me know down below. Like the video if you want, subscribe if you want, I don't mind Christmas, do whatever makes you happy. And of course, shout outs to my Tamer Level channel members, Crimson Dragon Slayer, Nikolai Schlenter, and Tippy, and a happy holiday days to all of my channel members and a special shout out to my digi destined level channel member anthony bontomassi who became a channel member after i recorded this video back to khan in the past and until next time let's go digital